Madam Chair, I would like to go after Puhan Pong because she. Okay, that's fine. Um, I noticed on your um, forms you've you've mentioned um, an issue um, that may not exactly be related to the agenda item. So I just want to ask you when you testify to please relate your testimony to our agenda item, which is regarding overtime and a particular newspaper article on that subject. So if you can do that, um, I'm I'm good with it. Okay. <clears throat> Just state your name and and um, you have three minutes. Aloha, my name is Kuhan Pak. I live in Kukui Haile. Um, we've come from the village of Kukui Haile to report that many tears are flowing in our village. I've seen tears streaming down the cheeks of children. I've seen tears streaming down the cheeks of kupuna. I have seen grown men with big muscles get misty-eyed. I'm not exaggerating. The way this relates to the overtime at the golf course is that it has to do with the rush to get the project done before Billy Kanoi leaves office and not taking into account what the people have been asking for and what the people of Kukui Haile have been asking for and you have all received letters from us and from the plaintiffs in the lawsuit against the county is that we want more time. We wanted more time before the contract was signed so that we could come together as a unified community and determine what improvements we wanted. And because the contract was rushed through, because it was so important to get the project finished before Billy Kanoi leaves office, just like the golf course, we have become a fractured community with tears streaming down the cheeks of, I would say, 86% of the community. And the reason I say 86% is because, well, first let me start by saying that Valerie Poindexter, our county council person who has betrayed us, I'm sorry, Valerie, has said that this is what the community wants, and it's based on a survey that she conducted, which was a 15-page list of signatories, over half of which uh, play on point, ball teams. Of, excuse uh, me, I have three point minutes. Of order. Yeah. Kuhan, point of order. Kuhan, excuse me. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take um, the point control. of order and. Um, Ms. Poindexter has a point of order. Of order. Okay. I think it's valid. So, and I don't mind um, having them testify for their three minutes and bashing me or saying whatever they need to. I just uh, uh, ask the council when we get into the discussion that you allow me to respond, um, even if it doesn't, because right now it's not nothing to do with their testifying with nothing to do with what the agenda item specifically states. So I, I don't mind if they go off track and the rest of us agree that we can listen to that with in mind, keep in mind that I will be able to respond to what they are saying so I can have clarification and the other side of the story. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And I Madam Chair, oh, Mr. Onishi. I mean, I don't think we can, so I think you need to control what the testimony is and make sure it's relating to what, what, well, no, what's on the agenda. No, I agree, and that's why I, I asked you. I don't think I, it's not, I, I think it is related because all these park projects from the $100 million bond that was floated, 50 million of which were for Parks and Rec on June 1st of 2015, for some reason, there's this big rush to get them all finished before Billy Kanoi leaves office, including the reason why we have to give this overtime for the Hilo Municipal Golf Course. So it's very related. So if you could relate yeah. um, your testimony to the issue with overtime or the newspaper article, I'm good with that. But I'm afraid that we're, we're running so far behind today that if we get way off topic and then we get into a, a subsequent discussion about the issue with um, this particular park, um, I, I'm, well, I just the, like the, to respect the, the, the time here, of here, all, all here, of our time. Okay, the way it relates 
is that the people are being subjugated and their desires because of this necessity I, to, I know get, that's the issue to that get you the have. park project finished, whether it be Hilo Golf Course or whether it be the Kukui Haile Park. So okay. our voices were silenced. Done. And then in this case, the reason they're saying that it's so important in, with the Hilo Golf Course is because we don't want to obstruct golfers. Oh, it, it just seems so, what's the word, disingenuous. And, um, so, okay, so since this, this is fiscal committee, I will talk about finance. I don't know, um, I went through the documents of the website for the county council uh, contracts for 2015 and 2016 because I thought it was really strange that the, 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 it went from $2.5 million for our project to $5 million, and there was absolutely no fiscal oversight. First of all, the whole bond was waived because of this rush to get all these projects finished before Billy Kanoi left office. And Karen Eoff, um, I, I'm terribly disappointed in the fact that you as head of finance committee waived that because this is a huge bond that Point needs of order. financial oversight. Point of order. Okay. Um, Mr. Kanuha. I know we keep interrupting you, but I, I did ask respectfully that I'm, you could okay. keep your so, discussion to the so agenda anyway, item. Okay, so sorry. So I'm, I'm looking at the golf course. I didn't see that as part of the 2015-2016 contracts in the website, which surprised me because I was very curious as to what was the original estimate on that and then what was the um, final awarded contract. But I did see so many contracts that went over, and this is definitely a fiscal committee issue. For example, as you may or may not know, the Mauna Kea Recreation Area Improvements, it was $2.7 million was the estimate, and it, it, the contract was signed for $10.2 million. Did that go through any fiscal scrutiny at all? I mean, I know Kukui Haile Park did not. I know we were told that if there was not enough uh, money, if if it because it was 2.5, that certain components would be dropped off the project. This was all smoke and mirrors because the thing was signed for whatever the project was, and nobody, no fiscal oversight. What about the um, Mass Transit Agency base yard and maintenance facility? 8.7 million went to 11.2 okay. million. Kuhan, um, Kuhan, you're. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. I know we didn't stop the time when we were okay, interrupting, so I'm letting you go a just, little more. But okay, could you summarize just now? Just to wrap up. Just yep, to thank wrap you. up. So I'll, I'll, I'll stick to fiscal issues, even though we have the full spectrum of community represented in terms in terms of newcomers, locals, old, new. We are all very distraught at what's going on, 86% of us. The difference between the 2015-2016 con contracts, between what was estimated and what was awarded, is um, $16,173,000. And I'd like to know where all this money is going to. Who is pocketing this money? What happened to the 2.5 its, its unions? Well, it's not normal to just give away these millions, you have to go back and talk to the contractor and say, thank, hey, thank you, where can Kuhan. we drop it out? Where can we um, make it work for our budget? This is way over the taxpayer's budget. And I'm here as a taxpayer and um, as a very, a taxpayer that feels so um, injured, not just by our government, but by our fellow human beings. I'm going to take the next testifier now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can you please state your name? If the red light is, I mean, the green light is on. Okay. Okay, it's on. Okay, and just bring it close to you. Okay. Hi, my name is Stella Abarkar. I was born and raised in Kuku Haile, attended Kuku Haile School. And it's wonderful that we always had that park to remind us of our childhood days, you know. And to see the little remnant destroyed is very hurtful. First of all, it's almost like putting an elephant in a VW. As far as I can see, my own personal feeling is a project of that dimension belongs in a large city, a large town, not in a plantation village that leads to a dead end to Waipio Valley. Kukahaili plays a big role in Hawaiian history. And what they're doing to us is putting knives in our heart. 
the size of this project is overkill. And to tell us, she said, oh, the county, want, oh, the people want it. That's what Valerie Poindexter said. Oh, the people want it. Madam How Chair. come there's 86% <laughs> against it? Sorry to Stella. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop your time okay. for a second. Okay, okay, now, do you guys know, it's because we have um, a rule that people can't just come in and testify about anything. We have to testify to an agenda item. So I'm asking you very, as respectfully as I can Certainly. to please speak to the agenda item, which okay. is about overtime okay. and an article that was published in the Tribune Herald. I can respect and that. And I mean, I know you want to vent about what you're talking about, but this really isn't the right meeting to do that okay. at. So well, thank I you for respecting us, and I want to respect you too. You came definitely. a long ways, and I understand that you're um, well, a upset. question we have, that a lot of trucks go in front of my house empty and leave with material on the park, coming directly from the park. I certainly feel that that project should not have started. Ten years ago when we had Dominic Yagong take interest in our community, we asked for speed bumps, and he agreed I'm, to our proposal I'm about so sorry the park. To keep well, so what do you want me to say? I, I want you to understand that the item on the agenda is to request a discussion with the Director of Parks and Rec regarding county paid overtime as presented in the Hawaii Tribune Herald article. And I've looked at the article and there's nothing about this particular park and I can't just let you go on about so an item not that's allowed, not I on the know agenda. I think the Park was not on, a, on your agenda today. It's not. It's not? So I'm... So uh, it's about Willie. the financial... I, at the next meeting I have a... a communication for the parks director to come in and give an assessment of all the parks. That okay, so that might be a more so appropriate time. So and I, I, it's not great. that I don't um, honor the right of the public to testify, I do. Okay. And I've been there, but I just don't want to go away from the rules that we have to operate by okay. as well. As far as financing go, I feel that the project coming or going should be monitored. It's okay. about Thank the you. public's money, Thank the you. county's, the people's money. Okay. Um, are there two testifiers in Hilo?